Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Hotel Mumbai. And I remember seeing this trailer and thinking this could be something special or it could just be run-of-the-mill true story kind of thing. And it has a very stacked cast with Dev Patel, Army Hammer, uh, Nazanin Bunyadi, Anupam Kerr, and then like Jason Isaacs in this as well. And I'm expecting like a pretty tense, dramatic kind of true events story. And you've seen a lot of things like this before. This movie was shocking because there's points in this movie that are so unbelievably hard to watch in terms of how shockingly violent and just blunt they are with the violence and the attacks in this movie. I was rattled, honestly, and I don't know shocked me so much it took me out of the movie for a little bit because honestly after a while kind of just felt distasteful they're just walking around and like just these machine guns and shooting people point blank at will and honestly I don't feel like this film develops these terrorist attackers in this film as any more than just like crazy terrorists doing things because of their religion and not really adding a whole lot of depth. Something that I thought was interesting is like a film like Patriot's Day built some interest in the terrorists in this situation and made for a more well-rounded story. This is just, they're just basically agents of murder and they're just going around and they're like just shooting people point blank right in front of you and it's just, whoa, like I was not expecting how violent and unyielding this film is and honestly after a while it kind of felt like like rampage and not like the Dwayne Johnson rampage like it felt mean-spirited and just I'm just gonna show as much violence and killing as possible in this film and then there's parts of it that do really work and it, not gonna lie, it's an extremely tense movie, and it's thrilling, it keeps you on the edge of your seat, but, like, after a while, it's just, like, this is, like, hard to watch. And that, and not in, like, it's really emotionally affecting you hard to watch in a good way. It feels cheap, and honestly, just, ugh. There's moments where it's just, like, I couldn't believe what I was watching, honestly, in this film, and it's just, like, do I want to keep watching this? And I did get through the film, and it is a very well-done film. It's well-directed. Um, Anthony Maras builds great tension in this film, and, it, like, the story does get a little repetitive after a while, because it's like, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead. Let's just keep shooting people for almost two hours, just shooting people, and it's just like, it does get repetitive, and you do, you're afraid for these characters, and I have to say this film doesn't pull any punches, and it's really surprising with some of the events of this film and ter some of the fates of some of these characters, but it's overwhelming, and I felt like it's a well-made film. The story is affecting, obviously, but there's too much, and it's done in a, such an emotionally blunt way that sometimes it's out of great detriment to the film and the experience of watching this film. And it's like, I'm not quite sure how to recommend this film because it's like, it is a great, well-made thriller because it definitely accomplishes what it wants to do, but it kind of does it in a distasteful way a lot of the time. And it's, if you're really into like, you want to get thrills and put on the edge of your seat, this film's gonna do that for you, so go ahead and take in this film. If you're easily upset, this film is gonna mess you up, honestly, and not in like an emotionally satisfying resonant way, and just mean-spirited kind of way, honestly. So it's hard for me to recommend this film, which makes me sad because I felt like if they could have done this in a little bit different way, because I understand they're trying to portray things in a very grounded unbiased, well, honestly, it is pretty biased, it's very one-sided, and it's just like, they're just a bunch of killing machines mowing down people, and I don't know how I feel about it, but those are my thoughts on Hotel Mumbai, 
I wish I could recommend it more, but honestly, that's how I feel. If you saw it, let me know what you think. And thank you, as always, for supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.